to be here. Let me see how good that is. It's really fun for a Sunday, I'll tell you that. The caramel is really cool. Hopefully that means it's more original and richer. Oh yeah, the caramel is good. And the Sunday is really creamy, really rich. And the milk is really rich. Toasted, would you believe it? Wow, it's really nice. Nice, plus adds a lot of pomegranate essence to everything like this. The molasses and well, at least the bread is of really good quality. Mm. I'll be back. I want to show it. This does have brown rice inside, along with. Beef, that's another thing new here. But yeah, that's the hummus. And you see the cucumber and capers and olives. And this is the turnip, pickled turnip, yeah, normal pickle, and more as well. Because I really want this to be a normal one. And that's the beef here. See? Mm -hmm. It does have a sort of burnt shawarma flavor. I'm not sure how they managed to do that, but oh, the taste is just incredible. Because it is actually beef shawarma. This is the first time ever I'm trying this. I guess this turned out to be a really good bet, so I'll try it just some experts. I'm really hungry. Great variety of flavors exploring it inside this. Well, the other side was yogurt. So you got yogurt, hummus, garlic, and Pakini chili sauce was inside. Mm. The pickle works really well with the beef. The butter on so um, uh, it's always nice to have pickles. My hand that's incredibly heavy and incredibly delightful. I feel like I'm drinking buttermilk here. So when you're having Indian food, 
Normally when it's really incredibly spicy, people encourage you to have yogurt because that takes the spice out, you know. Mm. Here, you have the pickled turnip is really flavorful. Although it's not really spicy, oh. incredibly authentic like what you have in Saudi, but this is still one of the best ever shown I ever had in my life because it's Lebanese. At least the Chinese. So the flavors are a bit more mellow on this. I have a lot of emulation flavors inside with a milder taste of all the salad with all the spiciness of the European trauma as well. Sometimes it is better. And this is something special I got, which is in fact. As I expect, as they show me, so I bet this is incredibly good, and I'm going to try the food bread next. See you guys later. Hey guys, so I got this really nice jam from the Lebanese show. Well, the shawarma was really good. It was a bit strange, not the same as the Saudi Shawarma, but this one has pomegranate molasses and extra general oil, olive capers and all the Middle Eastern spices like pepper, well, Indian <laughs> maybe, and the Mediterranean uh, herbs like thyme and rosemary, definitely red grape, maybe, but <laughs> some lemon juice, garlic, and mint. So, I'm really looking forward to trying this. It's very fresh and probably this one is a bit expensive because you need a lot of fresh ingredients straight from the Mediterranean. This cost me around eleven dollars. Not very sure, maybe twelve. Didn't expect this. I just smell olive oil and capers. And some olive maybe. Now this is a special bread that already has molasses and 20 times of seeds, a lot of different food grains in this. Really good bread. Let me see how good this spread tastes. Looks very green because maybe it has a whole lot of black olives. Oh, I thought maybe it would be red because of the pomegranate molasses. But yeah, still smells very good. I'm sure this has you know, ginger and black pepper to give that zing along with lime. Let's taste this a bit and see how good it is. Hmm. I would say it's something that could really work as a bread spread because well, it smells really good and holds its own mini spread. Like you can see. Oh. It 
so the the only word that I know is man. That's so amazing. It is everything here, especially the molasses from pomegranate and capers on it. No, you will learn. Even ginger maybe, but I do taste the lemon and black pepper on time. It's really good. Not so very good. Yeah, the red grape vinegar. That's something in it, maybe. It says, Zest used to be a Phoenician word for oil. That's why they named this something. So, well, this works really nice. All my brands spread as well, but just as an oil. The Phoenicians competed not only in territory with the Romans eh? through their daughter city Carthage. Their food also has a really good competition with the Italian food. Because trust me, Romanian food is some of the best you can find from the Mediterranean cuisines. Certainly up there with Italian, Spanish and Greek cuisines. Make for a very satisfying snack. Could work as a very delicious and healthy meal and so on. I see enough vegetables in this to be with a very complex taste. I just add some meat and lettuce and salad and some pack of parts. Hello guys, see you there. Nice flavor in there. Still is spicy. Got some pickles, some lettuce, tomato, cabbage. Yeah, the so meat is really good. Probably rich. It's probably kind of to the subway. Can I take it to the AC lines here? Not that I guess that's a really classic one. I bet they do. You know what I have? I have that. I have a chest hair right here and that's it. So if I unblock my shirt like this, it looks like I have some. Sunday. I'm not really sure why it matters so fast. So it is a classic unblock again. And overall, I'm not sure why it feels a bit strange to see now on here. No skin fat stuff here. It's all full and creamy. And it's empty, but this smell is just intense and incredibly sweet. I would say a lot of sweet sauces here. Maybe because it's a lot. It's the first time I'm trying beef shawarma. I'm not sure if this is even authentic, but it's 
suddenly oh <laughs> so after it got toasted it stuck to itself really well and maybe i don't recommend opening this in case you're buying this you have the ginger paste here oh yeah that's ginger <laughs> and you got a similar mm, chickpea kind of a flavor on the other side maybe tahini and this also just tahini and um really spicy chili <laughs> so so yeah you got some that you some